Hello and welcome to Polycosm. My name is Christina and today we are taking a look at the paid add-on Cable Rater, which honestly makes creating cables and curve related structures in Blender a walk in the park. We have featured this add-on in a recent video Ormajan made, but he didn't quite show the full capabilities of the add-on. I mean, he tried, bless him. <laughs> he still gets a gold star from me. <laughs> Oh, and I should mention that some of these features might not be out just yet, but they should be either today or very soon. So first of all, I'll be taking you through the many ways of creating curves, such as choosing two points, choosing two objects, drawing cables, creating cables from edges, and so on. Then I'll show you how you can customize your cables through keyboard shortcuts how you can add end connectors, how you can add details along your cables, and how you can use curve profiles to guide the design of your cable. Lastly, I'll demonstrate how you can simulate a cable between two points, from one point, and how to make the cables collide with objects in your scene. All right, let's get started. Before we start, I just wanted to mention that it might be worth checking out the preferences menu through the add-on. Here you can adjust the default width and resolution of your generated cable. Also, it displays the main shortcut for the add-on, which is Shift-Alt-C. So let's try adding a cable to a surface. With Shift-Alt-C, I can press Create Cable. Choose the two points and bam! This curve is far too thick, so using S and D, I can adjust the scale and the tension. If you hold down shift while doing this, you get a bit more control. So let's confirm that by clicking elsewhere and try this between two objects using the same method. How cool is that? You can also keep creating cables by just pressing Q and just keep going. Another way to create cables from object is by selecting the objects and with shift alt C press create from selected objects. You can also choose to create several cables branching out from one spot by continuously moving the target area and just repeating this action. This is super useful for when you have tons of objects in your scenes. I mean, like, come on, this is so awesome. If you do any type of sci-fi environments or cyberpunk designs in Blender, this add-on is an absolute must. You also have another feature which allows you to add cables from faces between two objects. Select both, head to edit mode, and with shift alt C, choose create mass from selected faces. Oh, I just, I love this. Although you just have to make sure that you're selecting two quote unquote islands and not just random faces. So what if you have a surface and feel like freestyle drawing one? Well, Cable Rater has you covered. You basically just choose the drawing option instead of the create cable one. If you want to connect two separate cables, just make sure you have both cables selected and in edit mode, select the two points you want to combine and choose merge selected edge points. How about creating cables from edges? Basically, you can choose any edge of any model and just run the script by choosing create from edges. And you can even offset the cable however much you want. I think that about covers it. Let's actually talk about how you can customize the cables. A really cool feature that this add-on has is the ability to add connectors to the end of your cables. You can either find a model you'd like to use or just create one yourself. Make sure it's facing upwards, select it along with your cable and with Shift-Alt-C choose Add Connectors. If the orientation is wrong, just flip it with A. Once you're actually happy with the connector, you can move it around and the cable will follow. And get excited guys, this is by far my favorite feature. So this add-on doesn't necessarily have to be used for just cables. You can create some really intricate stuff like necklaces, beads on a string and so on. To do that, you can create the geometry you desire on your curve, then choose the cable you want and then choose add or edit segment. Just like before, it attaches to the end of the curve, but if you press the D, you can move it along the curve. And even better, you can add arrays with A and just choose the amount with C and then just scroll until you're happy. 
if we now move the curve, all of the array elements move along with the curve. Isn't that so freaking cool? <laughs> if you want to keep editing the array, just select them and choose add or edit segment again. The curves as well, if you want to edit it, just choose edit cable. This is also a good time to mention that you have different profile templates that you can use. You basically just cycle through them with B. Sergey has said that these are just placeholder profiles and that he's working on some new ones. And I bet your eyes lit up once I showed you the multiple cable profile. I'll show you how to create those. Under the helpers menu, create a polycurve circle. I'm gonna up the resolution a bit and in edit mode, duplicate them a few times and make them all varying sizes. Now if I choose a cable and choose to edit it, I can choose a profile with A and select the polycurve circle I just created. Isn't that awesome? And of course you can twist the entire curve in edit mode. Another way of creating a profile is by first creating a polycurve, but choosing create a multi-profile instead. Here you get a few options to play around with. And once you're happy, press A and select your curve. Done. If you want to edit the size of the individual cables, you can always choose the polycurve and in edit mode make it smaller or bigger. If you want to manipulate individual cables, you can choose split cables by profiles and just move them around in edit mode. If you at any point need to edit more points, you can go to helpers and add bezier point and mouse cursor and then just click wherever you need them. Once you're happy and would like to rebuild the individual cables into one big cable again, just hit rebuild split cables. Another really cool function under the edit cable menu is the ability to twist multi-profiled cables such as this one. Choose I to twist the cable and F to add more resolution. This is such a great and easy way to add ropes, braids, make candy and so on. And the curves are still editable. Or should I say edible? <laughs> yeah, okay, let's, let's move on. So the last thing I wanted to cover is simulations. Now, as Sergei has explained to me, simulations with curves isn't easy as you'd have to convert the curves to geometry, but then it becomes super dense and slow. So he's created a very interesting solution. As he explained to me, these are in no way a final polished version of a simulation, but rather just a base that will need some fixing by hand to look good. Let's start with dropping a cable on top of the zero plane. I'm going to draw a cable, lift it up and twist it around. If you go through the helpers menu, you can choose to drop the cable and the cable basically just drops to the ground. If you choose to highlight points in edit mode, these points become locked and only the rest of the cable will drop to the ground. What if we add in a cube to act as a collision object? Let's select our cube first, then our cable and head into edit mode. Keeping the same points highlighted, let's hit simulate cable instead and choose simulate. Pretty cool, but not super accurate. So with the little menu on the bottom left, let's adjust the curve points multiplier and the resolution until we get something a little bit better. As I mentioned before, you probably need to do some manual cleaning to get it a little bit more accurate. If you highlight just one point, you can make the cable drop from that point. Now, I recommend using as few points as possible. The more points you have on your curve, the more ugly the simulation, honestly. If you want just a clean and simple simulation between two points, make sure that you only have two points. And yeah, that about covers it. There are a bunch of other features I haven't covered in this video, but you can read all about them in the Cable Rater manual. This is such a great and cheap little add-on packed to the brim with features that really help speed up your workflow. I highly recommend it. I'll definitely be using it for all of my Blender scenes from now on. I will link the purchase link below if you're interested. Thanks so much for watching guys, bye!